quick. When I say the word movie star, who do you think of first? Do you think of Leonardo DiCaprio, Denzel Washington, or Jennifer Lawrence? Or do you think of people like Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, or Tom Holland? Well, depending on who you ask this question to, you're likely to get a variety of answers. The way I see it, there are two different kinds of movie stars. The first kind is what I call the social movie star. A social movie star is a person who is really good at generating social media buzz. People may talk about them a lot online, but when it comes to people actually showing up to purchase a ticket to see their movie in a theater, people don't always show up. And then there's the second kind, which I call the traditional movie star. The traditional movie star may not even be on social media, they're usually a lot more private. But when they have a movie coming to theaters, people usually buy a ticket to go see it. The problem that Hollywood has been facing though, is that although there has been a rise of social movie stars, there has been a rapid decline in traditional movie stars. That means there are now fewer people that studios can rely upon to guarantee a box office hit. But why is this happening, and who even counts as a traditional movie star or a social movie star? Well, I'm going to cover all of that in this video. But before I do, if you could give this video a like, that would really help the algorithm and really help YouTube show this video to more people, so please like this video. Also, subscribe to this channel for more media commentary videos like this. And now on to the video. <music> To be a traditional movie star, you need to have three things. Number one, you need to be a household name globally. Number two, you need to have a devout fan base that will see whatever you make in large numbers. And number three, you need to have Hollywood credibility, crachet, you need to be credible. For example, Leonardo DiCaprio to me is one of the last remaining people who fits this description. Number one, obviously he's a household name, everyone in the world knows who Leonardo DiCaprio is. And as for Hollywood credibility, of course he is. I mean, he has an Oscar. But what Hollywood really cares about most is that Leonardo DiCaprio can put butts in seats. He can sell some tickets. Oh, but the art, let me tell you, studios care about how much money a star can make for them. That's why they invest in movie stars, because they want people who can reliably give them hits. Leonardo DiCaprio is one of those people. His last five movies include Once Upon a Time in the West, The Revenant, The Wolf of Wall Street, The Great Gatsby, and Django Unchained. All of them were big hits, with the exception of The Great Gatsby, but even that made over $350 million worldwide. This makes Leo a reliable draw at the box office because when studios know that they cast Leonardo DiCaprio, that means that movie is likely going to be a hit. It's also important to note that none of these films belong to any franchise, which means that there was no existing IP other than The Great Gatsby to rely upon to sell these movies. These movies did well based on the star power of Leonardo DiCaprio alone. That's what makes him a traditional movie star. Other people People who fit this description are Denzel Washington, Sandra Bullock, Ryan Reynolds, and Tom Cruise. Each of these actors has proved that they can lead a movie on their own, franchise or not, and still have a box office hit. Of course there are other movie stars, but a lot of them have aged past their prime. People who fit in this category would be George Clooney, Julia Roberts, and even Brad Pitt. Yeah, they're still very famous, but they're not a guaranteed draw anymore like they used to be. That pretty much just leaves the social movie stars, which is becoming an increasingly crowded list. <laughs> To be a social movie star, you need to have these three things. Number one, you need to have a large social media following with a stand-like fan base. Number two, you need to trend regularly on social media. People need to talk about you online a lot. And tragically, number three, somehow you can't actually convert all this online attention into actual practical real-life sales. These celebrities are usually very young and are famous amongst a younger generation who usually adore them very loudly on social media. But that online attention rarely translates into actual box office success unless they're in a franchise. People I'd put in this category are Zendaya, Florence Pugh, Timothy Chalamet, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Tom Holland. Yes, I know I put some controversial names in that list, let me explain. Firstly, Zendaya. I love Zendaya, I wish her the best, but she hasn't actually proven that she can lead a non-franchise film at the box office by herself. 
She's been in some pretty big franchise movies like Spider-Man and Dune. And when people go see those movies, they're seeing them for Spider-Man and Dune, not just because Zendaya is in it. So she hasn't really had to test her own star power yet. She has a tennis biopic movie coming out next year. I think that will be the first real test of her star power. Same thing has to be said for Florence Pugh. Yeah, Florence Pugh is in the MCU, but her non-franchise work like Don't Worry Darling completely underwhelmed at the box office. Same thing with Anya Taylor-Joy. She has already had a number of box office disappointments with Amsterdam, Last Night in Soho, and even recently with The Menu. She's definitely not a guaranteed draw at the box office yet. I really like both of these actresses, but for now I really see them more as social movie stars and not really as traditional movie stars. And yes, Timothy Chalamet is well known and it seems like he's in everything lately, but his non-franchise work also underperforms at the box office. Just recently he released Bones and all and it completely bombed in theaters. Yes, he drives a lot of social media chatter, but he's not really a true traditional movie star yet. He could be. One day. And of course, same thing with Tom Holland. He has Spider-Man, but people go to see Spider-Man movies for Spider-Man. It's like what Quentin Tarantino recently said. You have all these actors who have become famous playing these, these parts, characters, yeah, yeah. but they're not movie stars. Right. Captain America is the star. Right. People in Marvel movies, they're seeing those movies for those characters. When you see a Spider-Man film, yes, you might like Tom Holland in it, but you're seeing it for Spider-Man. Without Spider-Man, I don't think Tom Holland would be nearly as big of a star, which is why I don't count him as a traditional movie star yet. All of these people could be. I have nothing against these people personally. In fact, I'm actually a big fan of all of these people. But for the given reasons, I have to consider them social movie stars for now. I believe the decline of the movie star can mostly be attributed to one thing. Social media. Before the rise of social media, celebrities' lives used to feel mysterious and unobtainable. You used to have to watch an award show or buy a magazine just to see what was going on in your favorite celebrities' lives. But now you can just see them whenever you want to, whether you like it or not. Honestly, I feel like the pendulum has swung way far in the other direction. It used to be that we knew almost nothing about our favorite celebrities, and now I feel like we know way, 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 way too much. I know what food they're eating. I know how much they're exercising. I know what the lives of their kids are like. I know their pet names. I know what their marital issues are. I just know way too much. There's not anything celebrities are not willing to tell you nowadays. And I feel like that just ruins the mystique of the whole thing of celebrity culture. What I'm trying to say is that all these social media posts really make these celebrities seem not that different from everyone else. And yes, part of that is intentional, but it's going to be really hard to become a global, unobtainable movie star when you just seem so readily available all the time. Not to mention there are influencers and content creators that are even more popular than traditional movie stars. I'd argue that the average 12 year old today probably cares more about their favorite YouTuber than their favorite movie star, and that's assuming that they even have one. User generated content like YouTube videos, TikToks, you name it, is kind of kicking Hollywood's asses right now. And this is only going to become more and more of a problem for Hollywood as Gen Z gets older and gains the majority of purchasing power. In the future, say 10 years from now, I think there will actually be very few movie stars. I think there will be plenty of just tiny micro niche influencers that are all famous within their given niche. Heck, movie stars might be replaced by AI entirely. There are already virtual influencers with huge followings and they're only getting bigger. Who knows? By 2032, we could be watching our favorite content creators upload themselves into your favorite movies via the metaverse. Think that sounds crazy? Well, several multi-billion dollar companies are working on this very thing, so it's not that far off. But yeah, the industry is changing lightningly quick. On top of social media making celebrities and movie stars look totally normal and even lame at times, traditional movie stars are on the decline due to increased competition from content creators and influencers. At the same time, you have YouTubers and TikTokers that are now becoming the ideal way to become famous for an entire new generation generation. This is something that will continue to shape the industry in an unrecognizable way as time goes on. But anyway, that's my take on things. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Do you see the issue that Hollywood is having here with fewer and fewer movie stars? Do you agree with who I put in each category? If you don't, please let me know in the comments. Who do you think is a traditional movie star? Who do you think is a social
social movie star? Do you think I got it wrong? Please let me know in the comments nicely. And as always, my name is Brittany. If you like this video, please like this video so more people can find this video and we can have a big conversation about it. And as always, again, my name is Brittany. Please like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.